being here. Uh, we're just going to, I want to provide just an overview of where we are up until this point. Um, because I realized um, we started communicating with everybody months ago, and it was really rooted in, we didn't know we wouldn't be in person at this point. We don't know what phase we're going to be in. Uh, we're figuring this out together. And the, all of your input has been incredibly helpful as we've tried to navigate what would work best in order to have a a fun learners to leaders, how to make you know, our fundraising goal, but also to try to celebrate um, 20 years of having these doors open at Peace Community Center. So for everybody who we asked a million questions, thank you for being patient with us and thank you for providing input. We really appreciate having you as, as partners in this work. Uh, we uh, were planning, as all of you know, on doing um, house, house parties, and then that moved into doing virtual parties with small groups. But overwhelmingly, the response we got was, we'd rather direct people to the live stream. Actually, only, I think, two or three people were willing to do a smaller um, virtual party. Uh, so that's really what we're focusing on. How do we bring as much eyeballs and traffic and interest and gifts to this live stream um, and in the weeks that are leading up to that live stream event? If you do have people that you think would respond better for you doing a private virtual party or event. And please just let me know, shoot me an email or give me a call offline and we can make something happen. But I do think just because there was such a small response, just so that our team isn't stretched too thin, we've decided to try to focus most of our efforts this way. Um, we are, uh, uh, one thing that we're going to do and Miranda will walk us through is kind of brainstorming the process of inviting people to the virtual um, event um, and recruitment strategies and what that what we um, are looking for your help with. But I will say just so you have a sense of what the event's going to be like, we're going to basically um, the, the actual live stream will start at 430. However, at four o'clock, um, you as party hosts will have access to Zoom rooms where you can meet with the people that you've invited and have some one-on-one -on -one time or a group time together prior to the live stream um, going on. All it requires for you is to just send us a list of who you um, have invited and expect to see in your room and their email address so that we can make sure everybody gets the link. Um, your room will open at four o'clock um, all of you can see each other, communicate, talk, share, and at 4.30, a message is going to appear that has the link to go to the live stream event, and they can just click the link, and they'll be right in the live stream, and, and they can enjoy it with everyone else. Um, it's not going to be a long event. It'll be like 40 minutes. Um, we figured that's as much time as people were going to actually sit and pay full attention to us, uh, but we, is, we are going to be packing a lot in that 40 minutes. Um, Denise is going to um, basically serve as our host. She'll welcome everybody when there will be music and a slideshow playing when people first log on, but she'll welcome everybody and we're very excited to we're getting uh, we're working with a, a company that actually does these live streams so we can um, ensure the quality um, and certain like graphic elements can be integrated in. Um, we are ha we're going to be showing actually two videos. We have one, a 20th anniversary um, video that we're really excited about. We've had alums um, from years across the program came to peace and we're willing to be interviewed kind of one-on-one -on -one, and we're um, putting that together in a compilation video. Uh, we also then have a second video, uh, an impact video of one of our students here. Um, there will be an ask. And our hope is that by the time we get to the live stream event, we're really just trying to get to the end of our goal and we're pushing it right over the edge. So there will be an ask, um, a, a message will appear that shows people where they go to make to give. Um, there's going to be a thank you video with students um, during that time to give people a chance to make their gift. And then we'll be able to announce the total at the end of the, the event. Um, I, we're, we're really actually, quite optimistic about hitting our goal. Our goal was, is $100,000. And at, at this point, we're already at 42,000. So, um, and we really even had gotten started. Um, I'm looking at a stack of invitations right now that we are gonna be sending out um, by the end of this week where people can make their gift today. And that's really what we're pushing um, everyone to do, to make your 20th anniversary gift today and celebrate with us at the live stream. 
uh, the week leading up to the live stream, we are gonna be pushing heavy messaging, um, asking people to attend and make their 20th anniversary gift. And that's where we're asking for your support um, in helping us get that message out there and connecting with your network. Um, we're, we are creating, uh, we've got email templates, a call, phone call templates. We've got, um, we're gonna be um, sending some videos, um, clips, from the videos that we've already recorded that you can send out to people to show and share, to share on social media, um, just so that we can get people excited. Uh, so I'm gonna pause there and um, turn the rest of this over to Miranda. All right. Um, yeah, thanks for starting us off, Leanna. Um, I wanted to just kind of clarify what exactly it is that we're asking you to do uh, with this live stream event. So we're asking for your help in two different ways. One, we would love your help um, inviting your friends and family to actually attend the live stream on March 19th. But if they're not necessarily interested in coming to the live stream, the second thing is to um, make a special 20th anniversary gift to Peace Community Center. So those are the two things. Uh, come to the live stream or just make a gift to the um, to Peace Community Center. And part of that conversation with them is if you come to the live stream, there will be an ask. So uh, be prepared to still make a gift to Peace Community Center. Um, so I have some tools that will help you with when you're in, engaging with your guests to get them excited about our mission um, and kind of explain what's going on. Um, so I have an email template that I'm going to send out to everybody tomorrow. Um, but I can go ahead and share my screen in just a little bit. So I have an email template and a phone call script. And we're going to be, once our videos are done, we're going to send you short little video teasers later in February um, so that you can pass those out to your friends to help get them excited as well. Um, I'll show you just really briefly at what the script is going to look like. Here are guest outreach tools. Um, so again, you'll, you'll get this exact document tomorrow. It's just a Google Doc because that way you can make edits to it, really put your own personality into it, however you engage with your friends and family. Um, here's some just general event details, the registration link that you can help send out to people, um, and just like the fast facts about our event. Here is our email template. And you'll see it's just really like a, a basic email. Feel free to make any changes um, that you want to make it more personalized, but it has the information about the live stream. Uh, be, feel free to share your own personal connection of why you think Peace Community Center is worth supporting and why it's an important organization to you. Um, we explain the event a little bit. Um, and then so here's here you can very clearly see the two asks that we have this is this paragraph here is all about the live stream but then also if the live stream doesn't work out um, for them if they have you know conflicting uh, schedules or if they just want to make a gift this explains just making a gift um, explaining our goal of one hundred thousand dollars and you can explain to them that 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 fundraising goal all those funds go directly back to our programs with scholars um, so you're helping offer all the enrichment activities quality academic tutoring um, and our after school programs. Here are the registration links. So um, this link is for them to register for the live stream. Once they register for the live stream, they'll be part of our mass communications. So you really won't have to necessarily engage with them after that, other than just getting them excited. Um, but they'll get the, the live stream link sent directly to them. They'll start getting these email teasers um, and they'll be part of our mass communication list. Um, here is the link to donate. If they want to just make their special 20th anniversary gift to Peace Community Center, they can do that online. You can also tell them they can send in checks. Uh, they can give me a phone call and I'll take credit card information over the phone um, and we can set that up later. But so yeah, that's the basic structure of what uh, we're hoping that you can relay to all your friends and families who you want to engage with this event. Um, Here's a phone script. It's basically, you know, kind of the same thing, same message. Um, and thank you, John, uh, John Aker for uh, creating this phone script. I made a few edits to it, but uh, John informed this phone script. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if, you, if, if you'd prefer to just give your guests a call, um, here's like a, a little script that you could be using. Uh, I see that Amanda raised her hand. Uh, yeah, Amanda, do you have a question? You're muted, yes, man. and then I immediately lost my mute button. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Um, yeah, so I just had a question. The uh, I heard you earlier say that you're encouraging folks to make their 20th anniversary gift today. And I noticed the email script encourages folks to do it between March 1, between March 1 and March 19. So can you speak to that a little bit? How, if we do have folks that go earlier and we do that today, is that how, like, is there something on the webpage that allows them to say this is a 20th anniversary gift? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, to clarify, so we're kind of treating the 20th anniversary as a fundraising campaign and that starts on March 1st. So what that means for us, March 1st is when we're gonna start sending out a lot of bulk communications by email to people in our, in our network. Um, and so we'll be accepting 20th anniversary gifts throughout that whole entire first few weeks of March, starting the first. So basically all gifts raised during that time we'll know goes to the 20th anniversary. So it's just our regular giving page. And on the back end, we'll know that that's the 20th anniversary gift. Um, and so like, as Leanna mentioned, we want the end of the live stream to kind of be the point where we reach that $100,000 goal. Um, and so if they want to make a gift before the live stream, that's definitely encouraged, even if they're coming to the live stream, um, because that way we can just I guess more have more confidence uh, that we're going to reach our goal, but everything that's going to be raised within those few weeks is still going to be represented in the end goal during our live stream. Does that answer your question? Yep. yep. Is this I have a match? follow up. Okay. Yeah. Um, what if someone makes their gift before the first of March? Oh, um, that's a great gift too. Um, maybe leave a, make them have a note in there saying that this is a 20th anniversary okay. gift and then we'll yeah. mark it as such. Um, thing, but that's still, yeah, definitely do, welcome. Yeah, I'll say Miranda, one thing we can do and we'll work on that is we can add on, on the giving page, we can just add a drop down for um, learners to leaders or 20th anniversary. That way anybody who goes, we'll just make it an account code. So, um, that's easy enough on our end, and then they don't have to be confused about which of these do I select. That's a good really idea. great. My birthday is at the end of February, and so I want to lean on my friends to Perfect. make a donation, Thanks. and that's before March 1st. Good. I'll make a note to actually do that this next week. So that's a great idea. Thank you. Are we going to still talk about a match? And when does that apply? Thank you, John. Um, sorry, I should have mentioned that earlier. So yes, there is a $20,000 uh, $20, match. Um, we can in integrate that. We didn't input that into the email language, so that's an edit we need to make. Um, but all gifts of $200 or more will be matched dollar for dollar up to $20,000. So um, we need, um, thank you for pointing that out because I, I forgot to put that in there. Mm. There's a chance I might be able to get one or two of the people that I talk to that give larger gifts. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to ask them to add to the 20? Yes, um, because we were hoping to make it 25, um, but the avenue that I was using had followed through. So actually, yes, I would be happy to, and we can certainly talk about that if there are okay. other avenues of getting that. Yeah, there's a couple of people I think that might maybe we'll do five or something. Or Wonderful. maybe more. And we get it to 30 would be great. That would be, uh, yes, it would. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Thank you. Is there any more questions at this point? Yeah, I just had one question. So will it be clear when they click on the link whether they have to give uh, all at once or they can space it out over a period of time? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or go ahead, Leanna. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Oh. Um, I was just saying they can it, they can indicate um, that they want to uh, they can make a recurring gift. So they can do a smaller amount, and there will be a recom we have like a recommendations, uh, especially on the pledge card we're sending out, how um, smaller amounts that you can give over a period of time. I have a question too. Is if somebody wants to. Um, attend the live stream, but they're working at that time, will there be a, will there be a YouTube link up afterwards or is this kind of one and done? <laughs> it'll be recorded. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so it'll be on YouTube live. And the way YouTube works is that it'll just be, it'll be like a live premiere uh, during that time. But then afterwards, I'm pretty sure it'll be the same link, um, but they can watch it afterwards on our YouTube channel. Okay. Thanks. The giving pages will stay active through the weekend. So they can still make a gift after. Um, so I, I wanted to go over just some more 
ways that we want to support you in um, engaging with your friends and family uh, to invite them to this event. So Leanna mentioned the Zoom meetings. Um, that's definitely an option if you're wanting to participate in that. Uh, like Leanna said, just let one of us know. Um, but then also, if you're interested in sending out personalized physical mail invitations, we're sending out a bulk batch actually tomorrow. But I know a couple of you were interested in sending out personalized invitations. Um, and that's definitely an option too so just let one of us know and I can mail you a, a pack um, if you've already told Leanna that you wanted to do that I just sent it in the mail yesterday so you should be getting it soon um, but I can send you you know five or ten invitations that you can um, send out if that if that's some if that's a way that you want to engage with your guests um, Amanda yeah I see you have a hand up uh, yeah I just wondered so folks that we've invited to this event in the past are they the ones getting physical invitations they will, yeah. So if they have, um, if they're in our database, so if they've ever made a gift before, or if they've registered for our events before, um, they'll re receive a physical mail. Yeah. Are you going to uh, send a list of who those are at St. Mark's? There's quite a number of folks, and I can't think of all of them at once. So I just wanted to be able to, uh, yeah. to you know, to back that up with them. Yeah, um, so if they, so a lot of them will have already received that physical mail piece, but I do have it on my to-do list still, John, to send you a list of who's attended your tables in the past. And so I'll get that to you um, by next week. And that way you can kind of know who's been engaged at St. Mark's before. So I haven't forgotten. Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> the, the, uh... These are all really great questions. Yeah, go ahead, John. Uh... A lot of my uh, guests are most comfortable sending a check in the mail. You want to put a mailing address on the, uh, is it either on the card already or it could be on the email thing in addition to the link? Um, yeah, so, oh yeah, I can add it to the email template if that's helpful as another way. So. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna go out, that'd be nice to have it there. Is there an envelope and a place to send a gift back in the invitation or not? The bulk invitation, yeah. Yeah, there is, okay. Mm -hmm. So they, is that just a blank envelope, or is it just, or is it a thing that says here's an, here's my amount? You can write in. Uh, it'll be both. Part. It's an envelope, and then there's a reply device Pardon? too. Awesome. Okay, very good. Appreciate it. But if you wanted that in the ones that um, you're personalizing, so I actually just sent you a pack in the yeah. mail yesterday with okay. just the invitations and the envelopes, like the main gold envelope. Yeah. Would you like me to mail you some um, of those reply envelope and reply? Yeah, I like too? a total of twenty cards and replies, I think. Okay. Okay. I, okay. So you're going to get yeah, one package from me, but I'm going to send you another package tomorrow with the rest okay. of it. That's um, I sent you 10. So I'm going to send you 10 more cards plus envelopes. Okay. This is, this okay. is really great. This is why yeah. it's easy to have everybody all together because we can it just talk yeah. it through. <laughs> I think that's nice. And that first moment, I think a little more attention as I have a hand address return on them and a stamp and then the folks will, sometimes that's two is better than one. So. Okay, yeah, and if anybody else wants to send physical invitations, feel free to just give me an email um, and I can send you some. Okay. Cynthia, I'm sorry, did you have a question? Well, I was just, uh, Miranda, had you had given me mine and I sent them, but there wasn't that envelope. So what I was thinking is if you sent me the, what you're going to send uh, John, um, you know, the envelopes that will have the donation, then I can use that in my follow-up with them. You okay. Know, at sure, the beginning yeah. of March, I can say, you know, I know you got the invitation from me, da, 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 and reminder, but if you can't make it here, you know, this is another or whatever. Okay. And, yeah, I can mail you just those reply um, cards right. and the and reply that, envelopes. It was 20, 20, correct. Okay, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited about the idea of having the chat room ahead of time. I think that'll be a nice chance for folks to visit because one of the things people like about the dinner is the chance to meet the same people every year. And so having an opportunity to have that, it'll be a group kind of like this we're having right now. And we can just talk about stuff and say, sorry, we missed you again this year. We haven't seen you since, sometimes since last year. And we're hoping to be, we'll probably be in person next year, you know, 2022, but it'd be fun to visit for a half an hour just with the group. And I think that'll be, uh, that would be a, a nice part of that. And I'm going to talk about that in my phone call because many of the people we haven't had a chance to see for a while now. So it would be a nice chance to do that. 
Um, one more thing that we wanted to do today is just kind of, I mean, we're already having a really great conversation now, but just kind of opening it up to have people share any other ideas for engaging guests. Um, a lot of you have been supporting this Learners to Leaders event for many, many years. Um, so I would just love to hear how you engaged people in the past or what are you planning on trying to do this year? Um, you know, what else do you need from us to be successful? Um, does anyone have any thoughts on that? I mean, I guess I'll go. I was always surprised when I was able to fill out a table, especially in the early years. But now, like John mentioned, there's just definitely a handful that really like that community and look forward to that every year. Um, I know I always, I, I remember my stress in America was like, who has money to give? And I learned that that, at least for me, that's always been the wrong question. Who has the mission fit? Who's mm -hmm. excited? Um, right. Everyone makes time and makes uh, energy for the things they care about. Uh, and when I found that I was just talking about the mission, uh, the rest... I think kind of takes care of itself. So um, that was at least for me. I think that's really true. We shouldn't try to pre-guess whether folks have capacity or not. We just want to invite them and give them the opportunity to do it. And I always, one of the things that always struck me about the comments from my guests was how much they enjoyed uh, two things. One, seeing how many other people were supporting peace besides them, because many of them thought that they were part of a small loyal group. And when they found out they were part of a larger loyal group, that made them even more excited. And the other thing is they always enjoyed hearing the students talk at the, at the dinner and about how articulate they were and how excited they were and how personable. And so um, that's always been a highlight. And the comments I would get afterwards when folks would see me two weeks later or whatever in church, they would bring that up about how how uh, much fun it was to see the, especially some of the younger kids who surprise the guests with how articulate they are every year. And I think that's a wonderful, I mean, the power of that kind of connection is impossible to replicate uh, just from us talking about how cool peace is to them and how much we believe in it. When they see a student that is excited and personable, I think that brings it home in a special way. And so always try to talk about that. And folks will, will mentioned, you know, remember three years ago when so-and-so talked, I mean, it's, it's more memorable than we, I think, recognize. So I think it's really important to do that. I'm excited to see the 20th anniversary. Maybe some of those same people will show up in that. So it'll be fun. Um, one thing that I'll share that just really, um, I think a lot of times in the past have just been thinking locally and focusing on local folks <laughs> and in my community. And I am sending this invitation out to people out of state <laughs> Um, across the nation. I have a lot of peers and colleagues who work at other nonprofits who are excited about the type of work that we do. And so I know that they will have the space and the time to be able to, to log in or even to give. And so I'm just really thinking outside of the box, literally to my family members and my friends, um, my network outside of Washington and making sure that I just share, share, share. I would just echo that. So um Hi everyone. Sorry I'm late. Um, we Hi, we found that uh, with our we had did a virtual one for Amara in the fall, and it just like the vastness of where um, people shared and kind of attended and came was so much different than when you're tied to that in person piece. So creating that opportunity and then like that length of time for that opportunity is also which it sounds like this is a week long campaign. And I'll have to follow up with Miranda and Leanna. A couple weeks, details. March 1st to 19th. <laughs> oh yeah, a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, James, I see you have your hand up. Yeah, I, I put it back down because uh, both Denise and Ruth hit on the same issue or the same opportunity that this presents. I'm really excited about the chance to network with folks uh, who who've moved on and, and I, you know, and this will be a perfect opportunity to kind of reconnect with friends and family and others through, you know, throughout the entire, I mean, country and world, in fact. So um, I'm really excited about, um, you know, how much broader the, the network of, of support will be after this event. Maybe in the future, we want to have a chance to record the event that's live and have a chance to stream it for people that are farther away. Yeah, that's a great thought about that, you know, because there are people that I, I was just thinking my kids are in Seattle, they hardly ever have a chance to drive down 
to an mm -hmm. event because of their work schedule and all that, but they'll be easy for them to click on the live stream event. And I want to get the next generation and our family thinking about peace, just like we want to do that for everybody we know. And so I think it's one of those things where uh, if the live stream thing works pretty well, we could find out ways to continue to integrate it into opportunities in the future, even when we have a live event. Wonderful. Yeah, that's a really great idea. So, oh, um, so I have thrown around this idea that's just been this weird, ambiguous idea until last night, which was to do like a, a cocktail. Um, I went to an Olive Crest event and they they delivered the um, ingredients for this cute little cocktail and like a sweet treat. And so last night I kind of figured that out and got it all squared away. And I was going to ask about like charging for that, but I, I think as I'm hearing people talk, I don't think that would make sense. I think it would make sense to for me to donate or get donated the supplies and then, um, yeah, so anyway, I'm just sharing. That's kind of what I'm thinking about. Doing that for local people. And I also have some family who, um, I think they're curious. They don't live around here. Just this whole church piece, like, can you know, part of my life that they're curious about. So I'm I'm actually also really excited for the people who won't be coming to that little separate cocktail thing um, to share with them my, my life. It just feels like it's a big part of my life that I'm happy to be able to share. I had one question. Is there a, a link uh, to like a Facebook promotion of this that we could put up on our own pages and just, you know, even people I'm not thinking about who in the community or the area or whatever that might uh, want to tune in, just thinking this is a really positive thing that they could watch and uh, participate in and maybe make a contribution toward. I mean, that's just a way to spread the network. That's a great idea. Yeah, we weren't planning on that, but I think we should definitely do that. I can send a, a Facebook post suggestion that you can post on your own personal social media. Um, and we'll also be posting as it gets closer to the campaign, we'll be posting on our peace social media. So then you can, yeah, for, feel free to share that um, so people can see it from a broad audience. That's a great idea. Yeah, and that brings up a great point. Is there anything else that would be helpful for Leanna and I to provide as you're reaching out to your guests? I will say I'm, we made like a little toolkit, like a virtual hosting toolkit. I can send that to you guys if you want to see and lift. And it was all stolen things from everywhere else on the internet. Um, so you can re-steal more if you think it would be helpful. But it had like the invitation, like here's the email, here's a Facebook post, here's an image, um, here's the reminder. That That'd kind be of great. Thing. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Thank you. Shouldn't have to reinvent the wheel. So. Mm -hmm. One of the things I've been sharing with people I've talked to just because of the world we're in right now is the is a short comment about how all of us are feeling so isolated and, and in this last uh, politically all my friends are are progressive Repu uh, Democrats and they've been unhappy about Trump for four years and they're sad about that and finally begin to get happy again and one of the things they've felt and said to me often is how how much they feel like they what do I, what action can I take to make things better in the middle of all this larger world that's going on? It's so negative. And I think I've been phrasing all of the things about, about peace as a way to take a positive step of action to help things and to help especially communities of color that are being impacted negatively by that administration. And so I've included that as part of my discussion with my friends and my guests because that really resonates because they all say, you know, I felt the same way. I felt so like, what kind of am I doing? I'm kind of stuck at home now. I'm trying to be safe. I'm not seeing very many, very many people. And I haven't had much of a chance to, to do something that's making a positive difference. And I've, I've been phrasing this whole event as a way to do that by writing a check and being involved and getting on the call and so forth. So I think for folks that you know that resonate to that sentiment, I think that's a really powerful um, approach because I think it uh, it speaks to a lot of people and it speaks directly to the kind of work that peace does that is building growing leaders for tomorrow that are going to make this world a better place going forward uh, from the kind of the hole we dug ourselves in as a country for a while there so I think that's uh, 
for people who feel that way, I think that's a, a helpful um, adjunct to the invitation because uh, people feel like they want to do something positive and this is something they can do relatively easily. It'll make a big difference. So that's helpful. That's a great idea. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, any last thoughts as we transition? All right. From the development committee on the board, thank you to everybody who's doing this. Way to go. <laughs> we want as many volunteers as possible to help and getting people together for this event is one of the best things that happens at least every year as far as camaraderie and fellowship and people feeling connected. Um, I know many of the first people I invited to dinners years ago when this first started was just so surprised there were so many other people helping and pulling on the oars. And as the events got bigger, and we we got beyond just the breakfast. We had to have a dinner, and that was even better. And I, so I think the the energy that comes from seeing how many people are involved is really um, I think it's underestimated by by um, other volunteers, and not know how much it helps to see that there's other people helping too. And so the more folks we get on this call, the better it's going to be, and it makes people feel better. And uh, that energy gets translated into gifts. So, thanks for doing this, guys and gals. Yeah, oh, I will echo everything John said. Thank you all so much. Um, it, it, we just, we totally appreciate how all of you are supporting not only this event, but like supporting our team and our work and our students and uh, looking outside of yourselves, which is not always an easy thing to do. Um, and to look at how you can make the world a little bit better or easier for someone else. So just know that we just appreciate and honor that part of you. Um, if you have, we're gonna we're gonna close out this session. But if you have any other thoughts and questions after we leave here, I realize that it's four o'clock or almost five o'clock, and some of us have just finished up with work. So uh, you might something will strike you in the middle of the night or early tomorrow morning. Please don't hesitate to just shoot us an email. Um, we're looking forward to like based on this feedback, making some adjustments and offering some more tools. Um, all of you should see uh, in your in, in your mailboxes pretty soon the print invitation, and you'll be getting the rest of the materials um, pretty soon uh, because we're just going to adjust some phrasing, and then you guys can start asking and inviting, and we're going to get some more momentum on this. So really excited about that. Um, but otherwise, I just want to wish you all a wonderful evening, and thank you so much. And this is going to be a fantastic event. So looking forward to seeing you there. Thanks, Leanna. Thank you. Hi, Ruth. It's nice to see your face again. No, it's nice to see you. You all are always on my heart.